if you want to connect your game sir nova light to your pc via bluetooth well this one is fairly easy so the first thing that you may want to do here is you first need to charge your controller so make sure the nova light has enough battery before starting here so if needed just plug it with a usb cable for a quick charge here so sometimes if you have a low charge it this will prevent you from uh, completing the pairing process so again make sure you have enough charge or you've let your controller here charge enough but once you've done that what you need to do is you want to go and just go to your pc and just access your settings now in your settings you want to access the bluetooth and devices option so you want to make sure that it's actually enabled so yeah also you can go and just click on the option here that says start scanning or scan or add a device button specifically on windows so yeah so once you've done that this will start the uh, searching process for adding your uh, controller or game sir nova light so once you've done that you want to go and just go to your controller here and you want to press a bunch of buttons so you want to hold the game button and the b button together for a few seconds now the led will begin to flash here so it it's going to be blue a light so it means it's the controller is now ready to pair so you could just go back into your pc and basically uh choose uh your nova or games or nova light on the following options it should appear on the following of bluetooth or available bluetooth devices in uh your pc now once going uh go and just select that so so basically uh just select that and wait for a while it will connect or set it up automatically for you but just in case this does not work for you you're having some problems here and setting it up well what you need to do is me you need to confirm that controller has enough charge like what i said before to maintain a stable connection because bluetooth connectivity requires uh, some power here so enough power in order for you to connect and also make sure it, it it's not already paired with another device here like for example if you already paired this with your phone or with another console make sure to disconnect that first before proceeding with the process but that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching